If they knew, if they understood, if they cared, the Liberals would not be punishing local businesses and their employees with crippling new taxes. <laughs> Trudeau wants to make local businesses pay more, regardless of their bottom line, or the workers that they'll be forced to lay off. And we're not talking about multinational corporations here. In fact, they're left protected. We're talking about the mom and pop businesses that sustain our communities. The cashier working at the hardware store down the street, or the college kid who just got his first job with the local landscaper. Nous ne parlons pas des multinationales. En fait, les multinationales seront protégées. Nous parlons des entreprises familiales qui font vivre nos communautés. La caissière du magasin du coin. L'étudiant qui vient de trouver son premier travail comme premier. Hurting small business job creators is dangerous to the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of Canadians. And look at what the Liberals say. Justin Trudeau actually said that he believes that small businesses are actually just ways for wealthier Canadians to save on their taxes. That was his direct quote. Now, I have no doubt that Justin Trudeau and Bill Morneau move in the kinds of circles where lots of people do that. But we talk to and we for, fight for the plumbers, the mechanics, the grocery store owners, the farmers, the ranchers who just want to create jobs in their communities and save for their families. So you tell me what's fair about a landscaper who can't hire more workers when these tax changes come into effect because his tax burden is too heavy. You tell me what's fair for college students who can't find work in the summer because local businesses aren't offering any new position. What's compassion about the mechanic who has to cancel expansion plans because business is about to get more expensive? Well, you're right. There's nothing fair about it and there's nothing compassionate about it and conservatives will fight this every step of the way. <laughs> Ces personnes tra travaillent fort, elles sont honnêtes et elles sont démonisées par la politique mal avisée de Justin Trudeau. These are good people, hardworking people. These are honest people who are being demonized by Justin Trudeau's liberals just to pay for their out of control spending. <laughs> These are the people who create jobs and stimulate the economy. And I've talked to so many men and women on the farm who are in the combine at 6 a.m. and run it till midnight so they can get their crop off before the frost hits. Families who live above the pizza shop they opened up years ago. Can you imagine the shock of the mechanic who wakes up early to get to work hours before his employees, hours before the five people who have jobs thanks to the risk he's taken and the hard work he's putting in, only to be told at the end of the day that the liberals think that he's a tax cheat. And then as he's sitting around the dinner table, he opens up the newspaper and reads that the new taxes he's paying is going to bail out big companies like Bombardier. That is shameful. That's not right. Peut-être que les personnes que Justin Trudeau et Bill Morneau fréquentent ne se soucient pas de ces personnes. Peut-être passent-ils trop de temps dans des événements à accès privilégié et ils ont oublié que ces personnes existent. Ou peut-être que c'est simplement car leurs le amis ne vont pas être affectés par ces décisions. Perhaps the fancy socks, magazine covers, and private islands have clouded his judgment or caused him to forget. But we know that the liberal policies that he's proposing are hurting the very people he claims to help. New entrants to the workforce, young Canadians, new Canadians who have come to Canada for the hope and opportunity that we provide. Now our job, from now until the 2019 election and beyond, is to convince Canadians that there is a better way. We need to bring our positive message to all Canadians. 
The Conservative Party has always been the party of prosperity, the party that celebrates success and wants all Canadians to share in it, the party that understands that there is more to society than just government, the party that knows that free people making free decisions grows an economy and makes a country stronger, the party that rejects the politics of envy and refuses to pit one group of Canadians against another. <laughs> <laughs>